Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This is James in Nashville. And yesterday I did three videos on three different teasers they released. And wouldn't you know it, they released four while I was doing those three videos. They released another teaser and eight photos. So in this video, I'll be going on the frames that we haven't seen yet in this new teaser and also the eight new photos. We get this hangar that looks like you know it's got a helicopter and helicopter parts and stuff like that you can kind of see some walker bodies maybe laying on the floor around but the key to this is the lights are on and i don't think power is probably at this place i'm thinking this is a production photo like several of these photos were throughout all four of these clips they were just production photos and not an actual frame from like the show itself but of places and situations and the actors while on the set we get a cool shot of a tunnel um, down in the subway tunnels. This may just be a drain type tunnel though. And we get another shot of a silence, the whispers tag inside Alexandria. And here's the train station. Looks like this could be where our four people roll up to Commonwealth. Maybe they get off here. It's a little train station. And we get a shot of what looks like inside the bakery, Elodie's bakery. And there's a outside shot. And I'll talk more about that in the previous videos. And then we get a shot of Father Gabriel. We might have seen this one before, or at least maybe a few seconds before this. I'm not sure, but he's definitely got his gun pointed at something. And we see this flashlight and crowbar, and I think it's Negan who's wielding the crowbar. And then we get a shot of several of the characters lined up walking. This looks like one of those shots of walking down the road. And not sure if this is just a promo shot or this actually happens in the show. I think it's all of the characters against the green screen again, and they're just kind of put in this position here. Then we got a shot of some walkers down in the subway tunnels. Some cool shots. And then we get this shot again. It's been in just about every teaser. And then we get Alden searching down in the tunnels. And then this blurry shot, it looks like Lance from the comics standing there in front of some soldiers, but it's kind of a blurry thing. It, it never did really get clear. And then we see Maggie. Uh, this surely is down in the tunnels. And Maggie looks to be inside that subway car. And then Father Gabriel again. It looks like he's in one of the subway cars after they get away from the walkers and they're deciding what to do. They know Daryl maybe was left out there and dog. And um, should they go after him? Should they continue on? And th those kind of things. But that was all of the new frames in this teaser, the fourth teaser that were, was released yesterday. Check out all four videos going over all four teasers right here on the channel. And now the eight photos that were released. These are some character photos. And they even have a little synopsis to each one. A man of few words, Daryl, played by Norman Reedus, is forthright, weary, guarded, and most of all, strategic. His nomadic nature allows him to navigate the familiar and unfamiliar. The divide with Carol is an issue they must address. But food and supplies take precedence. A word to the wise, never mess with his dog. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Something's going to happen. Somebody's going to mess with dog. And then Carol, played by Melissa McBride, is steadfast in her priorities to help rebuild Alexandria to keep all within its walls protected and fed. But others see the means to survival differently. The strain between her and Daryl is on her mind as she continues to operate independently. Uh-oh. She will always go to greater lengths to protect herself, her family, and her community. A risk taker in his own unique way, Eugene, played by Josh McDermott, carries a great amount of guilt. He is aware of the consequences of every decision he has ever made or will make in his future. In this constant emotional state, is his mind capable of trusting what he says and what he sees? A zookeeper who became a king, a man with cancer who has undying optimism. Ezekiel, played by Carrie Payton, has always helped those around him and himself to live better and be better. Still captured by the troopers, Ezekiel feels he has made a grave mistake. And Jerry, played by Cooper Andrews, is vigilant. His confidence and leadership are without question. His effervescence at times is the only light in this dark world, but do not mistake his levity for weakness. And Yumiko, played by Eleanor Masura, her strength is her intellect and it serves her well. Captured, she has little tolerance for the questioning by the troopers. She is unlike anyone they have questioned before, allowing her to look at the situation in a different light while shedding light on the inner workings of her new surroundings. And she's a lawyer, so she's going to question them right back. A child of the apocalypse, Judith, played by Kaylee Fleming, is stronger than her years would indicate. She continues to hold her head high and fight with might for all to live. She feels the pressure of possibly being the only one left in her immediate family. This is a heavy load to carry at any age. 
No matter how dire the situation, Princes, played by Paola Lazaro, believes things will work out for the best. Her head may be in the clouds, but her coping skills are dialed in to how life really works in the apocalypse. If she were to listen to her inner dialogue, she might realize her instincts and observations could be the key to solving most of their problems. So there it is, and there they are, the new photos, the new trailers. Check out the past three videos that I've done on the channel reviewing the other trailers. There's a lot of new frames. It shows us the inside of Commonwealth. We get to see plenty of shots of Mercer, some of the new characters, them down in the tunnels. We get to see the Reapers. A lot of stuff going on. Can't wait for Comic-Con to get some real trailers coming soon, July 24th. But you guys let me know what you think about it down in the comments below and I'll join you there. This is James in Nashville. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more dead stuff.